A third night of unrest erupts in Brooklyn Center, Minnesota, following Sunday's fatal shooting of Dante Wright. Today, prosecutors expect to decide whether to charge the white police officer after shooting Wright, a black man, during a traffic stop in the Minneapolis suburb. According to the now ex-police chief, Wright was pulled over for expired plates. Court documents show he already had an open warrant related to an armed robbery case against him. Sunday's fatal incident took place in a city already on edge as the nearby trial continues of an ex-police officer accused of murdering George Floyd. Brooklyn Center Police Officer Kim Potter and Police Chief Tim Gannon resigned Tuesday, two days after Potter shot 20-year-old Wright. Gannon said he believed Potter mistakenly grabbed her pistol when she was trying to pull out her taser. Her gun was already out, and then she screamed out, taser, 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 which they're trained to do, but she forgot that she had her gun in her hand. Retired NYPD Deputy Inspector Corey Pegues watched the body cam video and believes the incident was unlikely a mistake. You know that the taser is clearly another color, and that's on purpose so that they don't confuse, get confused. And it's on that non-shooting side, and they train you to go across your body. So you know when you're reaching across your body, you're reaching for the taser. Tonight, New Yorkers will come together again at another rally, which begins at 6 o'clock at Grand Army Plaza in Brooklyn. This will continue as a purpose ride throughout the city. And again, civil rights leader Reverend Al Sharpton will be making his big announcement here outside of the Sheridan Hotel in Midtown around 2 o'clock. Of course, stay with PIX11 News for the latest on these developments.